Hey, this is Dan from Latest Greatest. I'm here today to review the Hakaso DL12 2.5K mirror dash cam. It has a 12-inch touchscreen, front and rear dash cameras, and it also has night vision, and there's a backup function, and it has a Sony Starvis sensor, GPS, and also a G-sensor. So if somebody bumps into your car, it records it, turns it on. Um, and the GPS, here it's showing I am not moving, going zero miles per hour. But when you're going down the road, it tells you your speed. And it has a nice clock telling you the date and the day, which I find very helpful. I'm sitting inside my tow car, which I use for my regular um, business. I deliver RVs all across the nation. And I tow this car behind, and I sleep in this car most of the time. This is my house, actually, more more than my home back in Wisconsin. And I keep window coverings on it, which I'm sitting in right now with all the windows covered. And when I'm in a truck stop, this thing is just great, because now I can look out the front and the back of my car and see what's going on outside there. I can keep an eye on the RV parked in front of me and I can see who's walking around behind me. Right now we're looking at the split screen. So this is the rear view, the front view, sitting in my front yard. Due to COVID-19, I'm not out on the road. Normally I'd be sitting in a truck stop somewhere if I'm stopped. This here is the front view. You swipe it to the left again and you get your rear view. And if you go into reverse, there you get it. You get the lines there showing you where you're at and a broader view pull it out there's a the normal rear view mirror and you can adjust it up and down however you want and then also on this side if you go up and down you either get bright or dim so at night time when it's light is too bright you just dim it down during the day you put it all the way up and everything is done for swiping so if you want to See both screens, swipe it again, you see the front, swipe it again, you see the back. And let's say someone rams into you, which I'll just show you an example by slapping this thing. It records it automatically. So you get a little, any kind of jolt or you get in an accident, it records it. Not only that, but it'll show you your speed, the time, the date. It's all there for your records if you need it. And now it is recording. The red light says it's recording. Tap it. That red light. Hit it. Shuts it off. If you're going down the road and you see something you want to keep, you can hit the lock button. And that will save. Put this on here. It's just like if you got hit by something. And it'll record the video for you. Hit the yellow button. Stops it. Now if you want to review the videos that this thing captured, you just swipe to the right instead of to the left and it brings up all of your videos and then you can select here um, front urgent front ordinary rear urgent rear ordinary and then also photos that you've captured Ooh, front there's something driving down the road you just tap on it and there you can preview the the video Tap on the little star there for settings, and it gives you various settings and everything from the resolution to the mirror image on the thing. Um, and then it goes up here. There's also speed calibration, time zone, GPS test, time and date. You can adjust everything to how you want it. The sensitivity of the parking guide and the G sensor, um, like here, set it on middle, which seems to work pretty good for me. And that basically adjusts the sensitivity of how much of a smack you got to have before it starts recording. And various things, these are dependent on what country you're in, as far as the frequency and the video encode. And you just hit the back and you go right back to it again. That's a red light. 
shuts that off. Yeah. Total insulation was really simple. It comes with a little tool here for uh, tucking in the wires. So I tucked them in all along the trim and ran it out to the back through my into my trunk. And then I put the camera on my top of my trunk and I just attached it with the double-sided tape and I wedged it in between the top of my trunk and my spoiler. Fits right in there nicely. The thing that is difficult is actually getting the SD card out of the slot up here. I My fingernails don't fit in there, but I found out that this tool that came with it makes it pretty simple. You just pop it in there and out it comes and you can put it back in the same way. So that's the most difficult thing to use is getting the SD card in and out of there so you can download the pictures and put them on your computer. With this here is the GPS sensor. This is the rear view camera. This is the power cord. And that just comes with a uh, power cord goes to a 12 volt socket so you just stick it in your cigarette lighter. It also comes with uh, software you can download onto your computer so you can actually look at the data that's collected through the GPS module which will show your speed and where you drove on the map. Then you can also look at the videos at the same time so you can see the tracking going through the map while you're watching the video. It's pretty cool. And then of course the biggest benefit is that if you get in an accident and you have a record of it or if a police officer pulls you over you can record his conversation with you and you can also prove how fast you're going with the um, recorded data of your speed on the GPS module which right now we're going zero miles per hour um, I'm really liking this thing for my car my car is older and it has um, some failing window tint so it's it's really blurry looking out the side windows and the, the rear view mirror. Um, so this thing gives me a crystal clear image of what's behind me plus a much wider view um, than I can see without the distractions or the obstructions of the um, blind spots that your car gives you. It takes some getting used to learning how to turn things on and off and making sure you're on the right screen not thinking you're you're backing up when you're looking at the forward screen you want to make sure you're on the back screen and the uh the wire that goes connects into your tail lights so that it turns on when you put it in reverse is not 100 percent necessary because you can slide slide this up and down this when you want to back up you just point it all the way down um so if it's too difficult on your car to hook that up, it's not that big a deal. I think it's going to be fantastic when I'm parked in a truck stop and I want to know what's going on outside without peeking through my window coverings. I will play some footage from the SD card so you can see the actual quality of the video as I drive around here in the hill country in Wisconsin.